Hi everyone! This week I decided to paint something for Junicorn. Now I've seen a few artists tackle Junicorn this month over on Instagram and I wanted to join in but just like when it came to Mermaid, I felt like I wanted to try and do something interesting, maybe a little less clear cut than the first idea that comes into my head. And my first thought was to do a kind of fake journal entry. There's a field near where I live where someone lets their horses out to graze, so I was tempted with the good weather recently to just go down there and sketch those horses, maybe add some different horn types onto them, maybe something that looks like antlers maybe, and I imagined something that could have looked like it was ripped out of Newt Scamander's Fantastic Beast book, and I really wanted to get some brown paper just to add to that effect. And to be honest, I did really like that idea, and I might go back to it at some stage, but I was thwarted by my inability to buy any bloody brown paper, and I just didn't want to paint over a brown wash instead. So I decided to shelf that idea for now and go with what I'm going to show you today. For a while now, I've been trying to come up with an idea for a series. By that, I don't mean drawing requests, but I haven't forgotten about that, I promise. But I mean more of a series of paintings that relate to a subject or a style that intrinsically speaks to me. Currently, I just stand at my desk and doodle until an idea comes out of the ether, and then the results kind of match that process. Which I don't really mind, I'm not looking for perfection with everything that I make, I just enjoy doing more than anything really. But I still want to find something that feels intrinsically mine, if that makes sense. When trying to find that theme, I guess I'll call it, I couldn't help but look at the work I've been doing recently and pull out what I liked or I disliked about it, what I wanted to follow on from, and what art or artists that I like and what appeals to me about their artwork. I would say if you're feeling similarly to me and you're unsure which direction that you want to take, those steps really aren't bad ones to follow. But I would say, looking at old work, looking at your fellow artist's work, they can inform you, but they aren't going to make this decision for you. Just like this advice, it's, it's not going to make the end decision for you. One thing I've been practicing recently is mindfulness, and I find it really hard, to be honest, to just sit about and try and be aware of myself. I think I'm too easily distracted. But I've been pairing it with yoga, and having to focus on a stretch while doing that is helping me a lot to do this, really. This is my mindfulness tip, I guess. If you're easy to distract, find something less obtrusive to distract yourself with at the same time. But anyway, I'm mentioning mindfulness because I think it's the real root of how you can make these big decisions on, say, the direction of where you want to go. Because deep down, if you're honest and plain with yourself, you know what you want to do. It just might be that you're not clearly communicating it to yourself. Deep down, I knew I wanted to create work that gives a glimpse of a story. I don't want to tell one that's clear or be really forceful with it. I just wanted it to be up to the individual who sees it to imagine what is happening, because I love art that does that. I also knew that I love painting animals and I love painting nature and abstract patterns. And I do love to draw people too, but I think that this one was pushed away from me because I know I'm weak at painting people and figures, so I just ignored that part, and that's why I couldn't really clearly see what I wanted to do. But taking a moment just to focus and be clear to myself really helped me to develop and draw this piece especially. I think this unicorn painting is the start of a new direction in many ways. Maybe not every piece is going to look like an extension of this, or <laughs> well, maybe it will, but when I finished this painting, it felt like the closest I've come to creating something I genuinely feel speaks directly to me. So when it comes to decisions, or why you did this or that, honestly every stage of this painting, from the initial thumbnail sketches, to those pink geometric branches, to the colour palette overall, I just tried what I felt was the right move at the time, or what I would enjoy the most at that time. I won't lie and say I think everything worked, but in many ways, not setting every decision in stone beforehand made the experience much more enjoyable. And that's not to deter anyone who prefers that method. The main point I'm trying to make is that you know what you want, and to follow that rather than any silly advice you might hear, especially if it comes from me, what I'm saying is be open with yourself. Except that being honest with yourself is often going to bring up painful things that you're trying to ignore, but once you face them, you can finally get on with what actually means something to you right now. As you can tell, all this mindfulness and meditation is obviously making me feel like I'm some kind of yogi imparting wisdom, when really it's just me in a room telling myself the things I think I need to reiterate and clarify, and to just force them into my memory for later reference. <laughs> but I guess that's really all I have to say in today's video. I want to know, have you ever practiced mindfulness, meditation or yoga, or were you too easily distracted like I've been up till now? 
And do you feel that it's easy to be frank with yourself? Or do you notice that you also have tendencies to repress or ignore what you're really thinking or feeling in that moment? Today's video is actually a little longer than usual, just to show each little step that I thought looked nice. So I'm going to leave it here and play some music until the end. Please do share any of your thoughts with me down below. I know my question is a little personal today, so don't feel like you have to share your thoughts, but I would genuinely be interested if you would like to. But if not, I hope you're having a wonderful week. My song and artist of the week will be featured at the end, so please check them out if you're interested in finding some new art. And I'll see you all again in a week's time. Chat soon.